Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com, the world's first free virtual classroom built for baby boomers, now with students in 160 countries. And today we are talking about something very serious. This is something that I hope you will share this video with your friends and family members, every single Windows user and every Mac user who runs Windows on their Mac needs to see this information and be aware of it. There is a really debilitating virus going around on the internet. In less than a month, it has infected already over 10,000 computers and is going to continue to spread. It is based out of Russia, according to the latest information that's available. It's not confirmed, but from what I have heard, that's where the virus is coming from. And it is a virus called CryptoLocker. And it falls into a category of viruses called ransomware, meaning they want your money. That's the goal of this virus. And what's especially horrible about it is that unlike a normal virus where you remove it and the damage is done, with this, the damage has only begun. So I'm going to show you everything you need to know today as far as what you can do to protect yourself, what to do if you get it, and just so that you have some basic knowledge about how it works. CryptoLocker is spread primarily through email. It can also be contracted through a website that has become infected. If you do get it, this is the screen you will see. This is a screenshot from someone who did get it. It's a red background. There's a timer that ticks down. And basically what they tell you is they want, in this version they say $100, in the latest version it is now $300, and some people have reported as much as $700. Basically here's how it works. Once you get this virus, it runs rampant, going throughout your entire computer and it encrypts all of your data, documents, photos, you name it. So what happens is even after you've removed the virus, you still can't open any of your stuff. Now, hopefully all of you are backing up your data. If you're not, please, please take our classes. They're free. We teach you how to do all of these things. Everyone out there should be backing up their data. And if you need a hard drive uh, recommended to you, please feel free to email me and I will be happy to help you out. David at PCClassesOnline.com. Just tell me a little bit about what you do on your computer, Mac or PC, and I'll send you a recommendation. No charge for that service. So if you have this screen on your computer, unfortunately it is already too late. If you don't know how to remove the virus or if you don't feel comfortable doing what I'm about to show you, immediately shut your computer down because it's only going to get worse. So if here's the first thing I want to go over with you, which is how you can prevent from getting this. Okay, There is a piece of software, I believe it's $29 at this point, and it's called Malwarebytes. And this is something that every Windows user should have. Now they have a free version and they have a pro version. Only the pro version will prevent you from getting this virus if you don't already have it. If you do have it, the free or the pro version will remove it. And it'll do most of the steps. I'm going to show you everything beyond that. We'll get to that in just a minute. Make sure you get malware bytes. Now I also said Mac users who run Windows on their Mac should be aware of this. And here's the reason why. This happened to a client of mine. A lot of you who have gotten to know me through our classes are aware that I work with a lot of CEOs, a lot of business owners, and I was working with one particular business and they run Windows on their Mac so that they can run QuickBooks. Uh, this uh, woman unfortunately downloaded the virus on the Windows side and normally when that kind of a thing happens the Mac is fine. The problem is that the virtual machine that she was running Parallels, which is a way that you can run Windows on the Mac, had access to all of the Mac files. So she lost all of her data. So let's go over that first. So for uh, those of you out there, let me get out of uh, full screen mode. For those of you who run Windows on your Mac, I want to show you exactly what steps you need to take to prevent this from happening. Obviously, yes, you do want to download Malwarebytes, but this is another step that will keep you safe. When you have your Windows environment here and you have your Mac environment here, go up in Parallels where it says Virtual Machine. Now if you're using software other than Parallels, it's basically the same process. It might be a slightly different step, but here's what you do. You're going to go here into the Configure setting. Go here under Options, which is the second tab in. Click on where it says Sharing and make sure that Shared Folders is set to None. That's what you need to make sure is happening. 
That way, if you got the virus on the Windows side, it cannot affect your data on the Mac. Now, let's say, God forbid, you do contract this virus and that's how you found this video on YouTube. What I want to do is I want to show you the steps that you need to take to remove the virus. Step number one, download Malwarebytes, free or the paid version. Run a quick scan. It's the first screen you'll see. Actually, probably before you even do that, make sure you update the database in Malwarebytes so you have the latest version. Then run a quick scan and it's going to show a few infected files and it's going to give you the option to remove them. Once you do that, it's going to tell you to make the computer reboot. So it turns off, turns back on. Here's the final step that you need to do to clear it out. Click on the start button, regardless of which version of Windows you're running. And here under the little search bar, you're going to type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T. That's Reg Edit. Hit the enter key. It's going to ask you, do you want to allow the computer, uh, the following program to make changes? Click yes. And now I'm going to show you where the software hides, okay? Forgive me, I just recorded this class a minute ago. Here under where it says H key underscore current underscore user, click the little triangle to the uh, left of it. Underneath here, you're going to see a folder called software. Click the triangle next to that. And in here, if you have the virus, you will see something listed called CryptoLocker. You need to take that whole folder and trash it, the whole thing. Again, deleting the virus does not recover your data. It's an important thing to be aware of. So I hope this video goes out on the internet. Please share it with your friends. Hopefully we can prevent a few people from being affected by this. Right now there is no cure for this. There's no way to get back your data unless you pay the fine, and I don't recommend paying criminals. It's typically not seen as a good thing. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. For those of you who have just heard of us for the very first time, we are a 100% free public service. You can visit us on our website at PCClassesOnline.com. We teach free classes on how you can better learn to use your Mac, PC, iPhone, or iPad, and currently have members in 160 countries. That's all, everyone. Take care.